well, car looks cool in white, guys. <laughs> Snow foam is the sickest thing. Morning, what's up guys? This is another one of those unplanned vlog days. I'm leaving to Italy for the Cars and Coffee Brescia tomorrow. And so I figured today I might as well vlog. I'm filming with some people down in Monaco and I'm gonna take the Lotus and I thought I'd talk about what it's like to have that car down here in Monaco and what it's like to have experienced it now that I've had it for exactly a week today. It's been a week, so kind of like a week review. First things first though, I think I should, uh, I think I should change. So let's do that now. Whoa, okay, now I'm changed. Check it out. Uh, I honestly don't really know what this thing I'm going down to is. There's a university in Monaco. Some of the students contacted me asking if I wanted to be in this uh, video. I think it's a video of them involving the heliport. And I, I don't really know. But, you know, help out the local community and stuff. So I was like, sure, I'll, I'll come. So that's where I'm going. However, I haven't eaten because I've been editing a bunch and reading through your application emails. Which reminds me, applications, I'm still getting through the emails. I'm gonna meet some people and then we'll see how things go. So yeah, anyways, application emails, I'm getting through those, but I'm gonna need to rush up, not forget my wallet, okay? And go upstairs. I think it would be rude not to take the Lotus and we should do a one week review. So let's do that and then maybe stop off. And as I did in the last video, get a sandwich, seems to be the new thing. To the car. Right, here we are, garage. Car's still pretty dirty, which just reminded me right now that that's another thing I need to do today, figure out cleaning for the car. Ta-da! There it is. Chilling in the garage. It does look... Yeah, yeah, it looks pretty dirty. Okay. Where's the key? Uh, key! We're good to go. Ah, shit, sunglasses. Guys, I've forgotten sunglasses, essential part of the day. Where have I put the sunglasses? Boom, sunglasses, got them. Let's go. It's probably best that we skip to a GoPro inside the car now so that uh, I can put this camera down because I need to, where's the light? There it is. I need to hurry up a little bit because I was, I'm supposed to be there in about 20 minutes and it's about 15 minute drive. Welcome, welcome guys. This will probably be the first cold start we all hear of this car maybe. Well, I've heard one for you guys. Valves close instantly but then... That sounds meaty. Okay, let's go. So low. Well, let's make this kind of like a what's it like after a week recapping on this car now that I've driven it around my, these roads around here. I've driven around my local roads in Geneva a tiny bit. Come on, garage. Sweet. I've driven it around my local roads in Geneva as well. And I've been able to get a feel for the car and what it's like to use it um, sort of on a daily basis like this. I'm gonna close the valves for now for my neighbors. And yeah, overall, what it's like to have this car. First analogy I would make, which is one thing I'm still getting used to, is how low it is and it doesn't have a lift. Now, I thought it would be worse than it is, but it's still pretty bad. I don't know if it's me being paranoid or if it's actually a proper, you know, really, really, really low car. But every time there's a bump, I'm going like tiny little bump now, two miles an hour to be able to get over it because I'm so terrified of cracking the front splitter. So that's the first thing that's a bit of a note. I'm kind of planning my routes according to where I know there are things, speed bumps and stuff. I need to get a sandwich, but I don't want to eat it in the car. So I'm going to need to get this sandwich and bring it with me and show up to the shoot with a sandwich, which must not happen too, too much. Okay, I'm gonna park horribly illegally, but it has to be done. Anything for food, anything for food. All right. All right, all right, all right. I've got food and I've got an idea. I think I'm gonna stop at this lay-by to eat it before we get there and hopefully that should mean I don't get there too, too late. Ah, uh, speed bump. Speed bump. Not the easiest thing in the world to tackle. Oof. See, every time I'm so nervous to go over them. And for some reason, in this part of the world, 
seem to be the most speed bumps ever. Look, there's another one right now. So it is a problem that I deal with on a daily basis. I'm gonna continue telling you guys about my week with this car. On me food break, which is coming up. Whoa, bumps, bumps, bumps. I will, however, tell you before that that this is one of those cars that you just can't help yourself but spank most of the time. And it's in a braking period, so I can't really do that. But it is one of those cars that really makes you feel like driving fast. Because that's what it was built for. Lunch stop. Well, this is where I'm stopping to have lunch with this view, so let's begin. They didn't have any sandwiches left, so I'm eating whatever these things are. Anyway, please excuse all of the cars driving past. I'm having lunch whilst rushing to a meeting and well, you guys know the situation. Anyways, this car, had it for a week, could not be happier with it. First of all, apart from it being very low, as I mentioned, and not having much storage room, it's so usable compared to the Elise that I had. And so much more comfortable and quiet if you want it to. It has, the speakers aren't great, but they are better. You know what, guys? I've just seen the time, and uh, I really need to get a move on. So I'm going to eat the rest of that stuff when I get there. Because I don't want to be rude and I don't want to be late. Um, if you're wondering why I don't just eat it in the car, that's because new car and I'm paranoid and hate me for it, but I don't want crumbs in my car. So that's the situation. More important than food though, the car. And I'm sorry that I'm so all over the place today, rushing uh, to get to the meetings and stuff. But the main focus of today is what I feel about this car after having owned it and driven it a fair amount over the last week. As I've said, it has a few little things like it being low that compromise daily usability, but overall it's a lot more usable than the Elise. Now, right now I'm cruising with the valves off to be able to talk to you guys more clearly through the hills of Monaco, but if I wanted to, I could do this. Still only up to 4,000 revs at the moment and really experience it on these tight, twisty roads because, man, this car is amazing. The front end grip is the thing that surprises me the most. Just look, here I can just take this, no braking. That's usually a corner I would always brake on. I would always brake on that corner normally, and in this car, there is just no need. Uh, the brakes are so nice. First of all, really, really strong braking power. But then second of all, just the feel they have is beautiful. AP Racing brakes, and they just feel absolutely fantastic. Now, the acceleration, because I'm in braking period, I really can't, let me switch the mouse off again now that I'm stuck behind someone. I really can't um, put my foot down too heavily, so I don't know what it's like on the full load or anything, apart from the one I drove on track, which I can tell you was very, very impressive. But this being my particular one, which is what I'm reporting on, I can't talk to you about full load acceleration yet. But from what I felt is the instant acceleration is just brutal with it being so light. It's much more quiet in here, much less road noise, much less rattles than there were in the Elise. And it just feels sort of newer and better built, and I mean, which it is, which is why it feels that way. But it's just nice to have it like that. And I am about to arrive at the Monaco Heliport, which is where we're filming. So I'll continue talking to you about this after this shoot. I've made it. Jerry's here. Ciao. Jerry, who you guys have seen many times. Look how dirty it is still, my car. Still got some food, and I'm going to pop up to uh, the heliport now. I'm done filming, ladies and gents, at the helipad, heliport thingy in Monaco, which was good fun. I couldn't really film it, uh, but it was it was fun, to say the least. I got to go in the helicopter and stuff, so pretty cool. Now back with the Exige, and I've got to go to Starbucks to upload a video. I'm here, I'm in Starbucks. We've got a subscriber who's just showed up to say hello. And I'm uploading a video right now as we speak in Starbucks. I'm slightly rushed, so I'll catch up with you guys in a second. Whoa, guys, let me move here so you can see the car. Can you hear that Aventador? 
there's an Aventador somewhere around. Let's chill everything out because this vlog has been completely out of control. Um, not even sure if this is going to go online. God, they're blasting it in the Aventador. I don't know if you can hear, but anyways. Today's video was about this car and about my one week sort of review of it. What it's been like owning this car for this week. And I'll do this like after a month, six months and a year. I'll come back into uh, talking about what it's like to own this car. I really hope that Aventador is coming here. Um, but yeah, it's been so hectic today. I still haven't finished all of my lunch. Oh, I know who it is. It's Ruslan. It's my friend Ruslan. <laughs> well, this brightens up the day. Look at this combo. Sorry for the shakiness. Once again, looks like I'll have to catch up with you guys in a bit. Excuse me. <laughs> the most hectic vlog ever. We've now been joined by Jerry in his Auto Bianchi. The SV is leaving to be switched out for the Cayenne, which you guys saw in the last vlog. I'm gonna get the start up. <laughs> Always oh, sounds so good. Yeah, it's been hectic, guys. It's been a crazy one, but you know, crazy vlog better than no vlog, I guess. Oh. Matt, do you like it, Jerry? You're a fan. He's a fan. Damn. Damn, son. The color's beautiful. I just had an orgasm. Yeah. Damn. Damn, son. Okay, so this is your Auto Bianchi. Ah. Does anyone want to buy it? It's for sale, apparently. Okay, your phone number. <laughs> your phone number is now on YouTube, Jerry. So please, anyone, feel free to contact this phone number right here. Um, and I might FaceTime one person that contacts him. Fantastic. <laughs> Have fun with that. <laughs> Uh, and this is the Auto Bianchi, which I filmed before, I think, haven't I? I don't know. Oh, it's so nice. I can't remember the seats being like this. Wow, that's actually really cool. I like a lot. But why are you selling it? Buy another one. Buy another one. Yeah. yeah okay, one. that's a good. That's a good excuse. A that's a good. One. I'll allow that. Guess what, guys? I am home, and I got some friends over who are coming to clean the cars, and I just tried the car out in sport mode for the first time. But yes. Hectic. Here we go then, the Lotus's first wash. We're about to kick it off. We've got some serious gear. Look at all of this going on. The CLA 45 MG, the Cayenne are here. And here we go. Let's do it. I've been charged to get hot water for this. I'm not too sure why, but I shall fill it. Hot water. Hot water. Look at this little contraption right here. Well, car looks cool in white, guys. <laughs> Snow foam is the sickest thing. And off it goes. The joys of being able to do this with PPF. Oh yeah. Look at how clean my car is, ladies and gentlemen. Massive thanks to the boys for cleaning these. So if you want to follow these two guys on Instagram, check the link in the description. But look at how clean my car is. But I want to get back to what I was saying about having it for a week. So I'm going to put the car away in the garage under the cover, uh, keep it all clean. And inside, you and I will recap about ownership and initial thoughts on this car after my first week of ownership. Okay, now she's locked away, boys. Completely cleaned in the garage and ready for her next trip. I'm not too sure when it will be, but it's so nice to know that the car is now clean and locked away. I realize this is now a really long video, so I'm just going to finish it off, talk to you about what it's like to have owned this car for a week. You're resting on the most homemade tripod, by the way, right now. You are on a pot. Effectively, yes, believe it or not. But anyways, one week of owning this car has been absolutely fantastic. Complete honor. And I'm just impressed, as I said at the beginning of this video, with the usability of it. 
um, and also how exciting it can be and just how sort of raw it feels when you're driving it. So I'm really, really happy. Obviously it being low um, is, is a bit of a problem sometimes it being a bit conspicuous, but apart from that, absolutely loving the car and can't wait to get on some trips. I'm going to Cars and Coffee Brescia uh, tomorrow and I'll be at the show there, which is always really good fun every single year. So the link, if you guys are in the area and you want to be able to come and buy some tickets to come say hello, is gonna be in the description down below. But yeah, overall it's been a fantastic time, hectic day, and I can't wait to get on my first road trip with the car tomorrow. Thanks for watching guys, please remember to subscribe, and I'll see you very soon. Oh, bye bye.